Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. One side of my face, this side right here is Longcomb, and the other side of my face is Laura Mercier. The reason that I wanted to do that is because I am like the self-proclaimed, what, authority <laughs> on Longcomb Absolute Powder. And I thought, what if I do a video where I use Longcomb on one side and I use Laura Mercier on the other, and then we can see which brand is better. Are they the same? Within the last year or so, I've really jumped into Laura Mercier and I've bought quite a bit of Laura Mercier because they put me on their PR list, started sending me things, and I started going, you know what? <laughs> They're kind of as good and in some ways better than Longcomb. Longcomb is in some ways better than they are. But for the most part, what I love about Longcomb also rings true about Laura Mercier. Now I have both these and both these on my face and you're gonna see me apply those, but let me ask you a question. <laughs> Are they that different? Because this is less money than this and even though the Longcombs look like they're bigger, they're being a little deceptive with the packaging. No, they're not. You get more product with Laura Mercier than you do with Longcomb. The only thing that's on my face is the skincare that I put on hours and hours ago. Literally, it's been like almost six hours ago. <laughs> and I put this on because I forgot that I actually do have <laughs> Laura Mercier balm and Longcomb balm. I got these two sponges wet from Real Technique. So we have two of these that are wet and ready to go. The only buffing powder brushes that I have that are the same, you know, two of, is these La Mer ones. So we'll put one over here and one over here. On the Laura Mercier side of my face, I'm going to use the Pure Canvas Primer. Uh, they have several and I have them, but uh, this one here I bought. I didn't need that much <laughs> because I'm only doing half of my face. Take half of that down. And I'll just put it on my neck. One, two. Why not? This has no silicone in it. It's a moisturizing primer and it just kind of grips, but it does sort of mattify. This doesn't look shiny, so we're not going to use Prep and Hydrate. We will use Prep and Matte from Longcomb on the other side of my face. I'm trying to remember that we're just using half as much. That's going to be the problem is that I when I get to foundation and stuff, I'll use <laughs> too much foundation on both sides, probably. Did I come under my eye? I don't think I came under my eye with the Laura Mercier, did I? So this side feels really like there's nothing on it. It's got a slight powdery kind of feel to it, whereas this side definitely feels more primary, sticky. On the Laura Mercier side, we're gonna use this foundation right here. I love this foundation. This is one pump of that foundation. You can see it's kinda of just sitting there. It doesn't roll down my finger or anything. And many people, me included, always say, gosh, it takes about four pumps of this. <laughs> I am going to take two pumps. I'm just gonna dot that. For anyone who's new here, I don't have a mirror in front of me and I need glasses to see, so. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing, actually. I think the sponge is going to eat this up, so we'll go three. I guess the whole point of telling you that was if I miss something while looking in this little compact mirror here. I got the window shut and we can, st or I can still hear that bird. I don't know if you can or not, but I love to hear the birds. You might also hear the lawnmower across the street. <laughs> I'm gonna just bring that over my eyes a little bit. I have not primed my eyelids. I don't have an eye primer from either brand. Now, I don't like to let my foundation sit, okay? So I'm gonna put on the Laura Mercier concealer and we're gonna set that side and then move to the right. This is the Laura Mercier stick concealer. On one end is an eye like highlighter thing and on the other end is the concealer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this here. Now Laura Mercier does make a concealer with a doe foot like the one I'm gonna use from Lancome, but 
I don't have that. I was tempted to buy it the other day. I saw that we have a Lar Mercier counter in our Von Mar. It's not in our Macy's or I don't have a Nordstrom around, but uh, so that is actually very nice because that will allow me to buy more Lar Mercier of things like brow pencil. I don't have a brow pencil. I did buy one, but it was the wrong shade. So I had to take it back. This counter will allow me to go over there actually now and look at Laura Mercier and buy it. Cult Classic, this is the Laura Mercier setting powder and you might be thinking to yourself, well, you're supposed to be able to use these light catcher powders as setting powders. Uh-huh, I know that. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> well, actually I did do that when they first got here because I heard that and I that. <laughs> as a woman of 59, no, I'll use it like I do the Lancome Absolute powders as a finishing powder. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this powder here and just like I always do, I'm gonna come on this side of my face and set. All right, then we have the Laura Mercier side of my face. Let's move on to Lancome. The Lancome foundation part was really hard for me because I don't think I have a Lancome foundation that gives the finish of this. And I don't think it's fair to pit a tint at all against this. It's not the same kind of foundation at all. I just decided to go ahead and use the Renergy one, even though I don't really like this foundation. I'm just gonna give that to you right out. But of the Lancome foundations, I think this is the one that has the most radiance kind of thing. Not that it really matters because we're setting that down, uh, but I don't need as much of this. So we're just gonna connect the dots on my face. If you've never been here before, then you may not know that I have been using Lancome in one way or another since I was a teenager. My grandmother uh, was in a position to receive Elizabeth Arden, Lancome, Estee Lauder, and she would gift me uh, these expensive high-end makeups. So while my girlfriends, when they first started being allowed to wear makeup, were wearing brands like CoverGirl and Maybelline, um, I was wearing this. <laughs> so I have a history with Lancome. And because even before my channel, I had so much Lancome, you know, I just never really saw a need to buy Laura Mercier. And that's not to say that I never did. Okay, I did buy a few things from Laura Mercier, of course, their powder and um, can't concealer. But uh, for the most part, I just, you know, stick with what you know. Uh, Lancome's been around longer, of course, but yeah, I have got to say, though, that Laura Mercier has been winning me over, and not because they're sending me stuff, but because I have figured out through them sending me stuff, they're a really, really good brand. So here we go. This is Lancome setting powder, and it is called um, Long Time No Shine. Let's bring that all over, just like we did the Laura Mercier. Let's look together so that I can actually see which one of these did better. Hmm, <laughs> I'm keeping my opinions to myself, but really. Darn it, I forgot to use the concealer and I've already powdered under there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, I will just tell you in review, this is the most fantastic concealer that Lancome makes to date. And I think I have them all here now. All right, so the next thing on the hit list is the bronzer. Okay, so to keep things fair, we're gonna be using the same brush. I'll be using my Sigma Matte here. In other words, what I'm telling you is I don't have two Marc Jacobs the bronzes anymore because I gave one a haircut. <laughs> That's a long story. Anyway, here's Lancome's bronzer. This is called Star Bronzer. I haven't used this forever. I cannot remember how potent this is. Lightly drag it. Ooh, that's pretty. I mean, that looks really orange, right? Sometimes I open this after I haven't used it in a while and be like, <laughs> thinking, oh my gosh, that's gonna be way too much. But it's not. I'm gonna warm up the side of my face. Wiping it off on that mat, we're gonna go in with La Mercier's bronzer. I bought this. <laughs> I feel like I've received so much from Laura Mercier. I feel like I need to say, I bought this. By the way, this is called Ritual. As you can see, it's a baked 
and it's got some blush baked in it. I think the idea is that you can do that. And now you're done. You don't actually need to have a blush. Some bronzers are like that. You can just put them on and, and they'll act as both. For Laura Mercier, the blush I'm going to use is called Sangria. I bought this. <laughs> this is the 104 by BK Beauty. I'm going to tap down in there and I'm just tapping on my cheek. Oh uh, yeah, I noticed that I don't have that zip covered up, so maybe we can use the long comb concealer there. Nope, I forget. And we can use the other concealer by Laura Mercier here. We'll see. Don't let me forget. Like I can hear you. <laughs> okay, so anyway, at one time I used to have almost all the long comb blushes and I depotted them and put them in a Z palette. Then I dropped the Z palette. Is that a surprise to anybody? And I broke them. <laughs> anyway, this one here is in Rose Liberty and, or however you say it in French. And yeah. Jack, paint me like one of your French girls. We're gonna do a red lip. So I wanna go minimal on my eyeshadow today. I'm just gonna use bronzer in the crease. So here's Lancome's bronzer. I got the air off. It's getting warm in here. I feel like I need to take a little break, let the air run for a little bit and then start filming again. <laughs> if I'm gonna be doing this all the time, why not just put the camera on 4K? Cause you know what happens when you put the camera on 4K? is you have to stop all the time. Let the camera cool down and go again. At least in the price range that I have a camera, you can't do that. You have to let it cool down. I think we'll go ahead and use Lancome's Shadow Stick because Laura Mercier is well known for their caviar sticks. So let's use Lancome's version of a caviar stick on this side, now the shades. Probably not going to match up. Maybe we can get close. Now we're going to use Laura Mercier's Caviar Stick in Moonlight and we're going to hope that it's close. <laughs> the long comb one is a little more gold than this one is. But I think by the time we do the eyeliner and uh, lashes, maybe you won't notice that the long comb one is a little more bright. It's a little more gold. But the Laura Mercier ones are a little creamier. I don't have a Laura Mercier eyeliner. And this one by Lancome is a retractable. So I think we're going to use a Lancome pencil. This is called Le Crayon Cole. And I think this one's in black coffee. But I'm going to use this on both sides. I chose this one because the Laura Mercier one is a pencil that you sharpen as well. I'm sure they're similar. If you know though, put it below so everyone will know. Let's discuss what we're going to do with mascara. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume, which I love, but the mascara that I would use against it, if I wanted to be similar, would probably be Hypnos Drama, but <laughs> I don't have one of those open and I have about 15 mascaras open. So we're going to do the Laura Mercier side with this. And then on the other side, I'm going to use Sills Booster because I almost always use Sills Booster when I'm using a long comb just because they go together and I love Sills Booster. I use it with other mascaras too, but the mascara that I'm going to use on that side is one that's currently open. It's called Definisils and Definisils doesn't have the oomph of this one without Sills Booster and I want to keep it a little bit even. I think that Definisils is a more natural kind of mascara that you would buy. Like if you don't like that really big mascara look, you just want to look natural with your lashes. I think that Definisils looks really great. And if you want to bump it up more, then put Sills Booster under it. I like to let Sills Booster sit for a little bit and kind of dry down. I'm going to take and go back in with Laura Mercier over here. I would not use Sills Booster under this. So I told you we were going to use red on the lips and we are. Now this was a special edition of this shade, but they sell this shade outside of this packaging. This is number 132 Caprice from the Absolute lipstick line at Lancome. And this one is Laura Mercier's Rouge Essential. 
You can see the Laura Mercier is just a little bit deeper, but I'm going to put the long comb on the bottom lip because <laughs> this is a more creamy formula than this. I mean, this is beautiful and it's creamy, but this stays put a little bit better. Long combs tend to travel on my upper lip, so definitely I need a uh, lip pencil when I wear long combs red lips. So I'm gonna start by tapping it in. And this is the Laura Mercier. I'm going to put this on my finger because I don't want red on this doe foot. And I also want you to see it compared to Long Combs Juicy Tube. Put these on my fingers so that you can see them. This middle finger has Long Combs Juicy Tube in Birthday Cake. No, confetti. And this is Long Combs or uh, Laura Mercier's uh, Cosmic Lip Glaze. Very similar. Both of them put a little sparkle on the mouth. So I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go put uh, my red bandana in my hair. And yeah, then we'll come back and do the powders. All right, we're gonna do the powder now, but we're gonna ignore my chin. This is the sparkles from the glosses. And that is not the fault of either gloss. What that is, is I had it on my hands, see? And then I touched my face. So I'm not gonna be bringing these powders down onto my chin. These are two of the La Mercier powders. I have the deep one and the lightest one. I put the middle one away because I don't have any reason to use that. But I wanna compare these two to these two, which are Pesh. And this one here is the one I always wear called Golden, which is pink. <laughs> so I'm going to show you these swatched. Then we're going to put them on the appropriate sides of the face the way I suggest that you wear them. This is not how it's being billed to use them or how probably a young girl could use them. But this is how I would use them. This one here is Celestial Light. And the one on my middle finger is Long Combs. This one here is La Mercier, and that one is Lancôme. Like, just kind of smooth them out here. Lancôme's Pesh. Can you see why I wouldn't set my face with this? Okay, so you can probably see putting these together, <laughs> the deep one, you know, it's darker. La Mercier. Long comb. It's not as hard to see the difference here. Long comb's right here. And that one is the Laura Mercier. So what I like to do is I uncover all the holes, which you probably shouldn't do, but then I give it a shake so that a whole bunch of it comes up to the top like that. Then I tap off a little bit of the powder in the cap. So I get about that much. Then I take whatever brush I'm gonna use and I really, you know, get it absorbed, twist it around. And then what I like to do is start on the perimeter of my face, get it going there and then work my way in. Okay, there we go. There's Pesh and now a light catcher from Laura Mercier. And what I want you to take into consideration is that we are under lights and I am like right up in your face with this camera. You can see every wrinkle, every pore, every piece of texture that I have. And I promise you that in natural light, this looks better. So in a little bit, I'm gonna leave this room. I'm gonna go into the house so that you can see what it looks like outside in the daylight, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna take Laura Mercier and do the same thing with the deep and come over my blush, just right there, just over my blush. I'm not gonna take it anywhere else cause you saw, that's an extremely deep shade. <laughs> my friend Mel is always saying, I don't know how you wear golden in that uh, because I'm primarily focusing it here on my cheeks where my blush is, that's how. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Perfect timing, I just saw Shy Guy pull up so I can do my filming in the rest of the house and outside and then come back to tell you about the giveaway. This is what it looks like in the kitchen window. Laura Mercier, Lancôme, 
and now we will go under the peach tree. Okay, we're gonna make this quick because I'm outside where everyone can see me and wondering what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I am in my backyard under the peach tree, so basically I'm standing in the shade, but uh, we will walk into the sunlight for just a second because you know I don't have on sunscreen. There we go. Oh, it's bright. Okay, go in the house. <laughs> I wanna talk about the giveaway. I have a giveaway for both, but I wanna explain why the long comb one isn't as much money. <laughs> it's because I bought it all. <laughs> Initially, I got the long comb stuff to give away uh, for a long time ago. Okay, I've been waiting on my long comb get ready with me video that I was gonna do. I always do that in the spring, but it was gonna be a collaboration with somebody and that somebody I love very, very much, but I'm not going to pressure them and say, well, are we ever going to do that? Because they have so much going on in their life. It's not even funny. So while I would cherish and really love to do that long comb collaboration, I'm not going to put pressure on anybody to do something like that. But the reason I wanted to do it so bad is because I've had this stuff to give away. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the giveaway in this giveaway. So the long comb giveaway from me to you is, well, the sponge. But I have to tell you, I'm not real fond of this sponge, but you might be because we are all not the same when it comes to beauty sponges. And I think that this sponge is more firm, but you can give it a try and see if you like it. It comes to a point, I mean, the shape on it would really be functional, but it's a little too hard for me. I'm just gonna put that out there up front, but why not share the wealth? <laughs> The next thing is this palette that I adore. This palette is a whole face. When you open it up, you've got on the inside, I've not touched it or anything, you've got these beautiful eye shades. So you've got pops of color and gorgeous, really blendable, nice neutrals. And then just grab the bottom and pull forward. You have the rose gold highlighter that I showed you today. You have the bronzer and then these blushes that look very shimmery but let me tell you long comb knows how to do shimmer okay it's big girl shimmer this shimmer is actually something that looks beautiful on your skin so yeah you got all these eye shades here it's a whole face bronzer highlight blush now I love long combs absolute line of lipsticks but the, depending on the color it tends to slide a little bit. So the lipsticks from Lancome that I prefer are actually from the color design line. So what we have is my most favorite red lipstick from Lancome. This is called Red Stiletto. I'm not gonna swatch it. <laughs> I've showed it to you before. And then this one, it's called Natural Beauty. And I mean, again, I'm not going to swatch it, but both of these are really wonderful, beautiful lipsticks. So for the Laura Mercier giveaway, everything except for one thing was sent to me by Laura Mercier and I am choosing to share it with you because I love you and you should get to experience this too. But the one thing that I'm giving away that I did buy is the new light catcher powder in the light shade, which I purchased not knowing that they were gonna send me all this stuff, right? Okay, so can I just say, as somebody who has been sent several boxes from Laura Mercier, and they always include a really nice makeup bag, they have the best, without a doubt, makeup bags going. I don't know why they don't sell these. <laughs> Some of them are good enough and big enough that I could use it as a small, handbag. These are luxury all the way. Inside of these are the products. So let's open this one first and see what I've got in here. Because I'm some kind of a brush fanatic, I've decided to part with these. And, you know, brushes are something that, you know, even if I touch it, it's, it's okay. All you gotta do is wash it. <laughs> okay, so this is their powder brush and this is their cheek brush. These are super nice brushes. I really, really like them, but I want to share because I have a lot. This is a lip glaze. Let me show you which one this one is. This one is called Rose Gold. So as you saw with the one I used today, Cosmic, it has shimmers in it, but it's very, very beautiful. You saw me use this mascara today. I already have one that I purchased in backup. So the secret concealer that you saw me use under my eyes and on the other side of it is an eye brighten type of cream. This one here is in 0.05. Two of their Velour Lip 
Extreme Matte Lipsticks. We have a red one and a berry. Two of their cream blushes. And let me just tell you something about the Laura Mercier formula. This one here is an oleander. And you remember that I told you how much I loved the Milani cream blushes. It was like my favorite because it's not sticky. And when you put it on, it doesn't like sit there and you have to like really work to blend it out. Laura Mercier is like the Milani ones where you put it on and it easily spreads out. And this is also a formula that works really nice over the top of powder. So if you're having a problem with your blush disappearing when you use a cream blush, this blush here does very well after you've already set your face. This one here is in Praline and this one here is in Rosebud. These puffs are nice. I mean, these puffs cost 10 or 15 bucks. These are really nice puffs. We have their Super Essence Primer. That's this thing here. This is a beautiful essence primer. Skincare, we have their Perfect Balm Moisturizer in the matching eye cream. These feel so good. These are just absolutely lovely. So we're gonna have two drawings. The first one gets the Laura Mercier stuff. And the second one will get the Lancome stuff. I'd love to hear from you below about which brand you prefer the most and why, but that's not what you have to put to be entered for the giveaway. And I don't want everybody in the world to know that this giveaway is happening because I appreciate you, my Fritzy family, and so I want you to win it my loyal Fritzy family who show up for me, my ride or die people, that's you, you deserve this. So what I want you to put in your comment instead so that I know you wanna be entered is, what is the thermostat in your house set on? <laughs> what do you guys turn your thermostat on? Cause I'll tell you what, I am burning up and it's 73 degrees in here because of all of this, ah! <laughs> As per usual, I won't be commenting on the comments below. I'll just be giving you a heart to show you how much I love you because you're the best part of the Fritzy family and letting you know that if you want to have a blessing, if you want to feel like you're really being blessed, all you got to do is go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Truth be told, I'm not even going to put on any sunscreen today because I will go outside after the sun goes down. <laughs> Ain't going out till the sun goes down. <laughs> I know, Garth. <sighs> he would just love to hear me sing. A lot of times these days I've been going out at sunset too because I just don't even want, you know. That's when I take my walks. Actually, that reminds me of a song. <laughs> I go out walking after midnight. Not in the sunlight, because I hate sunscreen. I go out walking after midnight, cause sunburns are mean. <laughs> sunscreen, mean. That rhymes. <laughs> and it reminded me why I'm not, why are you doing that? <laughs> so instead of using my favorite long comb primer, which is La Base, we're gonna put that up. Because we're not all about the base, about the base, no primer. We're not about the base, about the base, no primer. This is really rough. I didn't think that... Ant! There's an ant crawling on the dang make or lights. Are you not hot? Keep it up and you will be a dead ant, 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 dead ant. I kind of hope you fry. And looky there's my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Rihanna's song, you know. Under my umbrella. Hey, 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 hey. I could roll this into the deep of... <laughs> we could have had it all. <laughs> Rolling in the deep. <laughs> oh my gosh. We could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. <laughs> <laughs> twist and shout. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. In our cab. Let's do the twist. This is for Anne, because I know she wants to know. This is right on, baby. Right on. Vroom, 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 vroom.